Hello everyone and happy Sunday. So I've been receiving a flurry of downloads today and even though I don't ordinarily do energy updates, I thought it would be a good idea to pop on and um, share these downloads with you guys. If you guys enjoy these updates, please let me know by commenting and I will bring them more frequently. Um, they may not be as long as my other videos and maybe that's perfect. So the first download I wanted to share is that I don't know what's been going on in astrology. I'm not very versed in that. However, there's been this talk of the equinox and all this. And I, my feeling is that this is associated to it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I just go on my energy and what's shown to me in my conversations with the nine. So the main, main, main message I got today, which I feel is really, really, really significant, is that there's a massive heart chakra opening right now. So your heart chakras are bursting open. There is a flowering, if you will, in that energy center. And any time that this happens, it's a really beautiful thing because you start to reconnect yourself into the Christed consciousness, into that crystalline consciousness, into unity consciousness, which is what Christed consciousness is. And what happens is all these past events, the squabbles that you had with your friends that are no longer in your life, relationships that might have terminated, they start to resurface and they roll like a wave to the shores of your consciousness. And you start to see it from a different viewpoint. You're able to access new information that was always available, but maybe you were so caught up in the relationship that you couldn't see clearly. And just so you know, this message is going to be applicable to Twin Flames, to soulmates, to karmics, and to friendships, strong bonds that you formed with people. So what I was shown is that a lot of these older energies, these older imprints are going to be crawling up into your system so that you can reconcile those aspects of yourself again. And that's important. It's important to mend anything that is still rooted in separation because it's truly not allowing us to vibrate ourselves into higher and higher dimensional realities. The lighter you are, the more that you can float and the more that you can access. So anytime that you connect yourself into that fifth dimensional grid of consciousness, into that Christed consciousness, you're going to find that you float. You're not concerned with what's happening in the future, in the past. And I have an amazing webinar about that called Be A Dot. And the beginnings of Be A Dot, how it all started, is on my YouTube. So um, I'm always happy to provide tons of free content. And just so you know, I never hold back with what I share. I do this from the depth of my soul. Um, so anyways, when you're in alignment, when you're in harmonic alignment with your higher self, with all that you are, with the galactic beings, your committee that is guiding you here with your oversoul, you're not going to be concerning yourself with what's going on outside of your now moment because your now moment includes every single thing that ever was, is, and will be. And so this construct of time is kind of tossed overboard. You don't really care about it anymore. Even though it's still very much valid within this reality, we still need time to operate right now because time is something that we signed up for to have this collective agreement of this time grid that we will we would all be a part of. And time is valuable because we can know what time our kids finish school and I don't have kids, but you get the idea and what time you have to meet your friends. And we can grow through time as well. You know, let's say that you're in traffic and your time is slowed down and you're going to be late to an event. It's a wonderful time to acknowledge what you're feeling inside and to do shadow work and to integrate that part of you in order to vibrate at a higher level. So time isn't an enemy. Time is something that we all collective re collectively agreed upon. and But however, once you float into those higher dimensions, you're able to live outside of time. And that's when you can become a prime creator of your reality because then you call the shots. You can conceptualize something, you can envision something, and then you just consider it done. Mission accomplished. And then you will have to make certain choices to make sure that your vision or this thing that you visualized is um, in alignment with the with all of the choices that you're making. In other words, are the choices that you're making allowing you to 
um, physically meet the vibration of what you've already created or designed at a template level in the hyperspace reality. So I'm going to get back on track because <laughs> I can talk for days. Uh, um, so what I was shown today is that a lot of these old energies are going to be resurfacing. They're going to show you how the squabbles you had with your friends or how the breakups happened. And because your heart is going to be so open, you may feel tempted to call them again. And there's nothing wrong with calling them if you were in the wrong. If you were responsible for hurting them, then it's always advisable to acknowledge what you did so that you can clear that separation from within you. Hey, you pick up your phone. Hey, I'm really sorry this happened. I now see my part. Because when our heart is closed, we don't get to see the full spectrum of how everything ensued. We only see it through a filtering system. When our heart is open, everything starts to piece together and you say, whoa, okay, I had a part to play in this. And now I see what she meant when she said this or what he meant when he said this. So your heart is open and you just want to reach out to people and get back to a place of harmony and love. But what the nine were showing me today is be careful with that. Tread lightly, my friends, and I'll tell you why. Because think of the times when you have missed somebody and then you picked up your phone, you were able to reestablish a connection, and then a few months later, that darkness resurfaced again and you have the same problem. It's like a rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. It's a different rendition of the same song. And that's what I usually like to say. It's a different rendition of the same song. So your heart is so open right now that the most important thing for you to do is to stretch it even further. Don't repeat the older pattern of, oh, I miss them. And I've examined what my part in this was. And now I'm going to go ahead and contact them again and make everything hunky-dory again. Because your emotions can sometimes overtake you. And then because you're feeling so much love, you'll feel that impulsiveness to reach out again. And a few months later, it's going to backfire. Anytime something backfires, and this is important, anytime something backfires... It's an indication that at a given time or at a given point in that relationship, you stepped outside of your truth. And that that's going to have to smack you upside the head, the head so that you can course correct yourself and say, okay, now I realize that every time I do this, there's a chain reaction and then something eventually tumbles to get my attention so that I don't do it again so that I don't replicate that same behavior again. So the message I got today was make sure that it doesn't have a similar quality or a similar temperature or a similar flavor as it once did. Because if there's even just an ounce of that in there, then the chances are you're only operating from an unbalanced place, meaning yes, your heart is open, yes, you've replugged into Christed consciousness, but make sure that you love yourself enough not to repeat old cycles again. And again, if the seesaw was such that you had placed more rocks, meaning that you were in the wrong, and then whoop, there was it, it became lopsided, then yes, it would be up to you to call them back. But I like to kind of assess these things like from an objective standpoint did that person hurt me is it important that they take responsibility for their actions so that it doesn't happen again in the future and i've been in a similar situation lately i've missed someone greatly and i love this person and if they called me right now and said look the way that i spoke to you that day was unacceptable and I apologize for my behavior, that's it, done, water under the bridge. My door is always open. And I think people really need to understand 
and not you guys, but people as a whole need to understand that 5D never closes. 5D, new earth reality, is always open for those who have an open heart. That's quotable. Uh, it's always open for, what did I just say? 5D, new earth reality is always open. It's never closed. It's always open for those who have an open heart. So what happens is people end up closing the door, the door on themselves because they go back into ego, disrespect, lack of consideration, jealousy, competitiveness, all of this stuff that vibrates at a very low range. So 5D never closed, you close yourself off from it. And I'm a gatekeeper, so I know when I've been in the wrong and I have no qualms about apologizing. I'm always happy to apologize because it neutralizes things for them, it neutralizes things for me, all that pettiness doesn't belong on New Earth. So I'm always okay with reversing my wrongdoing. But I'm also privy to when I haven't done the wrong. And if that person isn't able to come to that conscious realization that they did that to me, well, I await them. 5D awaits them. And they can still access 5D. I'm not saying that I'm the gatekeeper of all that is. They can still access 5D, but they may not be able to access it to the fullest degree. So, the overall message is look out for you. If you were in the wrong, it would be honorable of you to pick up the phone. But before you do this, please ask yourself, have I been here before? If you've been here before, and you've had spurts or bouts of your, your, your heart chakra opening again. And you contacted people that you missed, your twin flame, your soulmate, good friends that you had. And then you found yourself hurt again. Then I would advise you to hold off and take it a step further with your heart. Okay, this was the message the nine gave to me. I was just showering right now and they were like, they said to me, don't tether yourself to physical things again just because your heart is open. Now think of how powerful that is. Don't tether yourself just by virtue of your heart being open again to things that are physically focused, to people, to places, and to things your heart opening right now is an opportunity that's being afforded to you by your universe to quantum jump into the next dimension. This is about you returning to self-love. This is about you returning to self-love. Is love a thing or is love a person? Yes, from one viewpoint, we are love. But love is bigger than that. Love is a universal force that can permeate everything, that can interconnect and intermix everything, that can trump separation. So, Let's consider that you do pick up your phone today and you call that person that you miss. But you do this out of impulse. And in a couple months from now, you have another squabble or another tiff or another falling out with them. Please consider that there was a higher level of love that was available to you now. And that love has nothing to do with what you see, with what you taste, with what you feel, with what you hear. It has to do with you. It has to do with you merging with your higher self, birthing into a higher plane of existence, and becoming all that you were always intended to be, which is a multidimensional being of love and light.
That's what you are, my friends. You are love and you are light. But you also have a responsibility as a conduit to discern when it's appropriate to be that love and then when it's appropriate to hold off and allow that love to flow through you even more. And sometimes we interrupt what the universe is doing with us and through us. Our emotions engage, and then we go, okay, I'm calling this person done. My heart is wide open. I can see clearly now that the rain is gone, and I'm going to call them right now. That's okay. However, make sure that you don't repeat old cycles again. A lot of that old stuff, that gunk, is coming up right now. It's coming up to be released. But please remain focused on the energetics so that you can enhance your magnetics. Stay focused on the energetics so that you can magnify your magnetics, so that you can enhance your magnetics. So that's my message today. And remember, you can call upon the Pleiadians. You can call upon Archangel Raphael at this time. The Pleiadians are masterful at assisting you in integrating your emotional structure. So whenever you're feeling tempted to like reach out to that person, connect to the Pleiadians, call out to them, dial your inner phone, and say, Pleiadians, I'm calling upon you now to help me integrate this aspect of myself that's urging me to want to call this person and instead refocus it and instead repurpose it and reconfigure my DNA structure. They're going to help you with that. This is a time to really master yourself. The universe is, is supplying you with every tool that you need. I was even shown that like time is slowed down. So before you act on behalf of an emotion that wants to get you in trouble again, See it all float around you. Remember in the Matrix when like they, they shot a bullet at him and he... Whoosh. That's how I live my life so much. I stop and I ask myself. I stop and I drop into that pocket and I really examine the situation before I nod my head. Because everything that you agree to, you don't always agree to at a conscious level. Sometimes someone can say to you, the weather's awful outside, and you're like, yeah, whoop, entity attachment. This is about you reclaiming your sovereignty. This is about you regaining your power. This is about us. And I want you to feel that transmission. Because I'm intentionally sending you a light code right now. The 144. This is about us. Let's help Mother Gaia ascend at an accelerated speed. She's counting on us. She loves us. She's housing us. Can we do that for her? Can we do that for ourselves? We are one, my friends. And I promise you when I say that every single decision that you make, it ripples through time and space. Every decision that you make creates an energetic wave that rolls over every single reality that has ever existed and will exist. So let's do this together. Let's be a team again. Let's be a cosmic team again. Let's be a galactic family. Let's focus on the bigger picture. Don't place all of your focus on your emotions. Again, you get to hold the remote controller, hit pause before you make a decision or before you act on behalf of a thought that may not have your best, your highest good in mind. And it has your good. I mean, we're always learning and I want to I wanna emphasize this. It doesn't matter when you slip. You're still expanding. But know that there's been a planetary shift where it's not just about your singular experience anymore. 
This is about what you're doing at a collective level. So every time I do something, it's about Phil, but it's more than Phil. How is this going to affect or impact my brothers and sisters who are out there? How is this going to affect the planet? Your heart is a portal and that portal has opened. It will give you access to many, many, many dimensions so that you can become multidimensional again if you're not, if you're not already multidimensional, which a lot of you are. So take a nice deep breath domesticate your emotions, sit, stay, <laughs> domesticate your ego, sit, stay. I get that you're excited and that our heart is open again, but sit and stay or you don't get a treat. <laughs> You've got to re-domesticate re your ego. The ego is not here to be killed or obliterated. We have to teach it a new way, a fifth dimensional way. So thanks to everyone taking the time to subscribe. There's a button right there that you can click. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. And I'm sending you infinite blessings. Also, thank you for your don donations. Much appreciated. Um, love you guys.